September 30th, 1863. Our plans have changed somewhat. I have fallen in with some rough types, but it seems to be the only way to get to the West where I can find my fortune and make my parents proud. I resolve never to do a dishonest act or take part in any thieving, robbing, or false undertaking. I will always keep to the straight and narrow, so help me God. Wait! Goddamn, I feel like I'm running barefoot and horse. Come on! Yes, yeah, sir, we're gonna have some idle times. Living off the land, hunting and fishing. That's a racket, you know, living off the land. Starving, Jake. Nobody's gonna turn starving boys away. Besides, there's always some kind of work that needs to be done around a farm. Chores? I ain't doing no chores. If you're gonna pull a gun on somebody, you better fire it about a half a second after you do it. Because most men ain't as patient as I am. Ten dollars for the lot of you. What do you say? It's your last chance to get one tag. You make that eight dollars, you're on, honey. Oh, you can cut that down a bit, Jake. I ain't interested. God almighty. He's saving it for his wedding day, I bet. Ah, oh, honey, don't do that. Well, you just don't get it, do you? All right, look it. I made myself a promise about staying on the good side of life. Now, is that all right with you, Jake? You really do come from good stock, don't you? <laughs> well, where I come from, there's some real good women, Jake. They do it just the same as the other kind. I ain't got no money, you know that. Well, then you lose, don't you? see a man drop for every shot. Ha! Jake and Drew, they're the best of friends and the worst of enemies. Bad company. Paramount Pictures. <laughs>